Hey guys, it's Becca. And first off, I am so sorry that I haven't made a video in like what feels like a couple of months. Um, it's just been very busy and I also just didn't have anything that I really you know, needed to talk about. And the last thing I wanna do is make a video just for the sake of making a video and not having anything behind it, you know, cause that just doesn't seem fair. So I am going to try very hard to be more consistent with uploading at least once a week. Um, I can't promise it's going to be on the same days. Um, I can't promise that it's may or may not be on a weekend occasionally, but it will be at least one day a week. So now let's get on to the video. The Oscars were on Sunday and my I could not have been happier. It was amazing and there's so much to talk about, so let's get into it. First things first, let's talk about Neil Patrick Harris. I thought he did a very good job. I loved the opening number with him and Anna Kendrick and Jack Black. I loved his Birdman skit, and I just thought overall he was very entertaining and charismatic and charming. Now, there are some criticisms out there that are, you know, not in favor of his hosting ability with the Oscars and that, you know, thought that things, some things fell a little flat. And a part of me does have to agree. I felt like the writing wasn't totally up to par. And I felt like, you know, some things were a little off, like the pacing was a little off, like some things ran a little too long, like some jokes ran a little bit too long. And it kind of just got a little awkward and tiring after a while. Um, but those are things that are obviously, I think, not really his fault you know things happen and um for me i think listen the oscars are not an easy gig you know for anybody you know and especially if you're not a stand-up comedian and you don't and you're not you know used to improvising and being able to go off the cuff like that i think that it's tricky for anybody and the thing is you know we've seen him host the tonys where he's amazing and completely in his element and i just think that maybe you know he just wasn't totally in his element but again for someone who has never done this who has never hosted you know the oscars before i thought he did a very solid job so Next, I want to talk about obviously the winners. Um, I was not surprised at who won, obviously, because usually most award shows throughout the season you can kind of predict who's going to win. Um, J.K. Simmons won for Supporting Actor in Whiplash. Um, Patricia Arquette won for Supporting Actress in Boyhood, and she made this. And she, in her speech, she was reading from a piece of paper, which I was like, girl, like, have it come from the heart. Love, like, I love you, but come on. So, but she's reading her speech, and at the end, she was talking about wage equality, you know, for men and women. And the best part about that speech was Meryl Streep in the front row going like, yes, yes, and just like clapping like, hallelujah, like, amazing. And, um, and <laughs> it was just like, and... It didn't stop there. Um, backstage, supposedly, she kind of elaborated and, you know, she said some other controversial things. I'm just like, oh, girl. But you know what? At the end of the day, listen, you use your platform to, you know, promote a cause that's important to you. And, yeah, wage equality is, you know, something that needs to be discussed and needs to be talked about. Um, so I did. Lead actor went to Eddie Redmayne, who is so adorable. His speech was so cute. He was so excited and he was like jumping up and down and I was like, you are the best. And I really want to see this movie. I'm so sad I haven't seen it yet, but I've heard really, really, really good things. Now that he's won the Oscar, I like have to see it, like for real. Um, and of course, lead actress went to Julianne Moore and from Still Alice. And I, look, I... I've only seen Julianne Moore, I'm going to admit, in like one movie, but I thought she was very good in that movie. And, you know, apparently Julianne Moore has been nominated for an Oscar like five times and she finally won. So I'm like, good for you, girlfriend. Good for you. Other um, great moments were, okay, were <laughs> um, the, a lot of the performances, which were amazing. Um, Lady Gaga. Who knew she could sing like that? Where has that voice been on um, our lives oh my god she did this beautiful tribute to the sound of music 
and she sang and she was amazing. Like she, her voice was just like flawless. Like she, you know, saying, you know, the hills are alive and my favorite things and Edelweiss and climb every mountain. And I almost died of happiness. But then, oh, but then at the end, Miss Julie Andrews came out and I was like, I am in fangirl heaven. I am dead. I am done. Like, I mean, oh my God, I, I could not contain my emotions. I was just like, all people bow down to Gaga and Julie Andrews right now because they just killed it. Uh, another performance that I really loved was John Legend and Common singing Glory from the movie Selma. And oh my God, talk about a powerful performance. At the end of this performance, there was not a dry eye in the house. Like, you know, you saw David Oliello crying. Chris Pine was crying. I was crying. I was like, I can't. Oh, my God. It was so beautiful. And if you haven't seen these performances, you really should look them up because they are beautiful. And they, I swear, hold a place in Oscar history for just being incredible. Well, I really liked it. The only problem I had was that it took forever to get to all the other awards. It just kept going and going and going. And it was supposed to end at 11.30 and it went until after midnight. And I'm like, I gotta get up in the morning. I have things to do. But um, at the end of the day, um, Birdman won for best picture. And so now I have all these movies I need to see. And I feel really bad <laughs> that I haven't seen them because normally I'm better than this. But this year it was just, I just couldn't find where any of these things were playing, but now I want to see them so I then I can give you an official review and I'm sure that they were all just magnificent because I've heard nothing but good things from people who have seen these films. <laughs> that was my little Oscars recap or at least like the highlights for me anyway, what I really enjoyed. And thank you so much for watching. Please like this video. Please subscribe to this channel and I will see you next week. Bye, guys.